Hello. All right, this is just going to be a really quick video to um, explain the moon shadow thing. And the only reason I'm doing this because quite a few people have um, have asked me because of Owen Benjamin talking about how the the shadow of the moon is is smaller. It's only seventy miles on Earth, and that doesn't make sense. And blah blah blah. So Owen is wrong about that. The shadow of the moon is smaller for a very simple reason, which I'm going to show you now when I um, when I sketch it on paper. And then I'm going to show it to you with using light and objects in my study so that, um, yeah, forgive me if I, you know, I'm really low tech. So the, the, the framing of myself is not great right now because um, I can't turn the camera around once I've done it, um, once it's on. So anyway. Let me explain how, why the shadow of the moon is only 70 miles across on Earth. And I'm going to do it with a sketch first, which here it is. So this is the sun, which is big. And this is the moon, which is small. And here is the Earth. This is obviously not to scale, but you'll see it works in a minute. Now the light from the sun hits the moon you know, there's all sorts of light from the sun going in every direction. So some of it comes this way. And then some of it from the top of the sun goes that way. And you can see, well, I've drawn it really, I've drawn it really badly, but you can see that this light and this light create a focal point, which means that the deep part of the shadow is only there. And that sometimes is true, you know, the, the shadow of the moon, um, this is kind of, let me just redraw it. So if the earth is there and the focal point is just that amount of space and here's the moon and that's kind of how it goes and there's the sun. So the, the part of dark shadow is only 70 miles across, but you've got, of course, another shadow here, which is called you know, what they call ombra and penumbra, which is simply Latin for shadow and half shadow. But, you know, this is a nice, neat explanation on paper, but Owen keeps saying, it never happens anywhere. It, this never happened in, in, in life. Uh, it doesn't, it's just never, never happened. It doesn't happen in the real world. That's not correct, okay? I'm going to show you now something of... Of this exactly here on my desk which is a mess right now but uh, don't worry about that so there is the Sun it's it's nice because it's a nice big globe that produces light rays you know it's just a bulb but because of the um, of the, the the lampshade that's got around it it has the effect to some extent as though it was a big ball of, of light and I'm gonna use my mouse just to show you and I think you can pick it up there can you see the shadow of the mouse can you see that it's fuzzy on the edges but if I bring the mouse really close to the surface of the desk then it becomes really sharp right and that's because that light source is a lot bigger than the mouse here you go you can see it's a lot bigger than the mouse so the light from the edges of this hits the edges of the mouse and when the mouse is a little bit away from the desk, you can see that there is a fuzzy portion of the shadow and a dense portion of the shadow. If I bring the mouse really close, then the light has got less distance to travel to create this penumbra. The penumbra, by the way, and I can't really show you very clearly there with my finger. The penumbra is the gray bit that's not quite dark. The umbra is the dark part. If I remember, I'm just using Latin, which is similar to Italian. I think that's the way they would name it. So notice that if I bring the mouse right up close, then look, see the shadows are pretty hard line. And even then you can see tiny, tiny sort of little bit of fuzziness. Now I'm going to put it on the, on the white so it's easier to see. Can you see that there is still a tiny little bit of fuzziness? And that's because some of the light is still hitting from a different angle. But if I lift, the mouse, notice how fuzzy the edges are, and only the center of it is still the same dark shape. That's basically the same thing of what happens on the moon. And um, 
you know, that's there. I'm using my computer to see if I'm centering myself. You can tell I'm really high tech and yet I can figure this shit out. So Owen, if you're watching, that's why the moon shadow is smaller than, uh, than the moon. And yes, you can do this in your living room, you know, just use a light source, the, the original light source. It's got to be bigger than the object that you're um, casting the shadow from. So, you know, if you use a light bulb, a light bulb is about a light bulb is about the same a light bulb is about the same size as a mouse. So, you know, but if you use a, a light bulb uh, and a, a small penny or something like that, it will it'll work. So there you go. That's um, that's it about the moon shadow. I'm just going to upload this quickly and sorry for the terrible video quality but uh, like like I've told you I'm a really high-tech guy that's why I do it on paper and uh, you know with a lampshade and a mouse because and even then it still works so uh, oh and when you're ready um, I'm still here for the moon landing stuff you know we did go to the moon you're right that they faked the landings but we did go to the moon using anti-gravity and that also explains a whole bunch of stuff about Antarctica by the way so when you're up to it, let me know. Um, I'm here, dude, and I'm on your side. So you know, don't don't take this as some kind of gamma challenge, man. You should watch video number twenty where I discuss what happened between uh, between us without ever talking or meeting or anything. It's a very manly thing. So uh, that's all. Okay. Good night.